Hi guys, Sport Tutor here and my name is Anil Deshpande. In the discussion of recycler view so far, we have already seen the elements which are homogeneous in the recycler view. But what if we don't have homogeneous elements, we actually have heterogeneous elements. As you can see here, we are having rows which are displaying the advertisement kind of information and rows which are actually showing the regular data. Every third element is a advertisement row item here. For simplicity purpose, during the discussion, we will call row items as add row items and data row items. When you have a look at this, the immediate question that you will start thinking in terms of how will I decide where to render which kind of row item? How do I have two view holders here? Because it looks like we have two kinds of row items that we need to support here. If we have two different view holders to support two row items, then how do I bind them appropriately? And more importantly, how is my adapter going to support more than one view holder? These are all very legitimate questions. So let us quickly go to the source code and see how the things will now change. If you realize here, we basically have used person view holder to get our person row item displayed in the recycler view. This needs to be modified. We cannot use simply one view holder here. So what we will actually do is we will create a another advertisement holder which is also a subclass of recycler dot view holder. When you have two view holders inside the adapter, you cannot simply use a single person view holder in the implementation of recycler view adapter. To support both view holders, we will be using a more generic recycler view dot view holder. It will modify our implementation of on create view holder which is returning a person view holder. On create view holder cannot return just a person view holder it will have to return a more generic recycler view dot view holder and the same applies to the on bind view holder where the first argument is person view holder to support both person view holder and advertisement holder we will be using a more generic recycler view dot view holder if you go back to the four questions that we had asked right now we have answered two questions still two remaining questions are there for that you have to override another method called as get item view type it is this method get item view type that will decide what kind of row item will actually get rendered in the recycler view so it is time for us to get into code and see how it is actually implemented it is the same old code base and only the difference is now i have modified it with recycler view holder i have two view holders here person view holder and advertisement view holder this remains unchanged only the difference is to support the advertisement holder i have another layout that i have created this is the new layout that I am talking about. Now let us go back to the adapter and see the implementation details of another method that we need to override that is get item view type. In this particular method, depending upon the position, we basically need to decide what kind of row item we need to display. So right now, every third item, I want to display advertisement row item. Otherwise, I want to display person row item. You can observe that I am returning layout that I want to display. Basically, the idea is it should return an integer value. In Android, the layout file itself can be a unique integer constant. I can pretty much use that. Actually, Google suggests you to use this because it is much more easy to understand what kind of layout that you want to use depending upon the position. With this implementation done, it is now time to have a look at how the implementation of on create view holder and on bind view holder changes. If you Observe the second argument in the on create view holder is view type. This view type actually corresponds to the return type that get item view type is evaluating. Internally, all I have to do is switch and then if the view type is advertisement row item, I will inflate the advertisement row item. If the layout type is person row item, then I will inflate the person row item. If you can observe in this case, it is advertisement holder and in this case, it is person view holder and everything else remains the same. For the default case also, I am using the advertisement row item. So that's about the implementation of on create view holder and how does the on bind view holder change? In the on 
on bind view holder i can check what is the instance of holder if it is of type person holder i will basically type cast it to person holder and then do the data binding and if the holder is of instance advertisement holder then i will type cast it to advertisement holder and then do the appropriate data binding it is just a matter of checking what is the instance of holder and doing the data binding appropriately and that's it and if you have a look at the application here you can observe that now we have heterogeneous elements and when i click on the row item here which contains the advertisement i will get a toast this is the code that is getting executed whenever i click on the advertisement here still all previous Yes, operations on the data item work perfectly fine if i want to modify i can still do it and you don't have to worry about which position that you are changing here because in the code we are actually asking the holder to tell what is its position you don't have to worry about whether it is getting deleted at the appropriate position whether it is getting modified at the appropriate position it is already taken care by recycler view so this is how you implement a heterogeneous recycler view in the next video we will see some of the finer aspects of recycler view that brings us to the end of this particular video don't forget to like comment share the video and subscribe to the channel take care bye